like this is exploring with Emma and Stu and I'm Stu, uh, Emma's not here at the moment um, I've decided to come on a little little uh, break away from work and the uh, comforts of life and I thought I'll come to a, a campsite that I know very very well called Brawl Farm in Great Yarmouth I'm going to give a review on the campsite I'm going to give a review on my equipment that I'm using and tonight I want to give a proper review on my Fox One I've been dying to use it, Emma knows damn well I've been dying to use it. I've been with Emma for the last two nights, it was my birthday yesterday, uh, so I spent it with her. Uh, she bought me a few little bits for my for my, uh, my setup for my wild camping. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start setting up uh, just over here um, with my new Fox One. I'm going to give her a little review tonight and a little bit today. The equipment I'm uh, going to use for cooking and my new my new pillar that she bought me. I was dying for this pillar and she bought it for me. So uh, stay tuned. Get set up and we'll see how it goes right okay this is basically my 50 litre bag that I'm going to be using um, here is my new uh, sleeping bag this is a, a two season sleeping bag from uh, Mountain Whereas um, it weighs next to nothing it's nice and small got my fox underneath uh, here goes my sleeping mat I've actually taken it out I've got two sticks I bought from B&M for $3.99 I don't know how good they're going to be I'm going to give them a go my new cup um, I got from Decathlon um, water bottles um, yeah so uh, obviously mat I've got my, my, my new OEX table and I've got my uh, chair Okay, this is the fox being laid out, but one thing I'm going to say, these need to go. These are very, very heavy. Uh, I'm going to have to get this, the aluminium type, I reckon, or the plastic type. But whoever buys this, first thing you need to get rid of, if you're doing lightweight, you need to get rid of these. These are very heavy. I mean, this has got to be a kilo, ki yeah, easily. So get rid of these. OBX Fox all set up just here but um, what I'm going to say is you're going to get two pegs left over to be honest with you I chuck them they're really really heavy um, also um, go outdoors um, love I love the place me and Emma religiously live in that place um, but I will say this go outdoors do not set this tent up to its full potential now it looks really really small really saggy in the middle when go outdoors have done it but if you stretch it out properly you've got a nice higher roof um, they all clip also go outdoors don't clip the uh, inner to the outer or the outer to the inner so uh, there's that as well um, but put your guy ropes out but I'm gonna say this when you put your guy ropes out, make sure you tie another knot in the guy rope at the, at the bottom on the pulley, uh, because they do pop out, but just make sure you do that. Also, uh, the guy ropes are blue. If you want to change them to a green, I would suggest that, or, or black. Um, something along them lines, because the blue is quite a light blue. It does stand out. I have no idea why they make a, a trekking tent like this with a light colour, because you're meant to be stealth. I, I don't really know. But other than that, it's actually going really, really well. Emma was concerned about um, air getting underneath into the vents. If you peg it down properly, it actually hits the floor, so it should be all right. Um, but I'm going to start putting all my stuff in now, and then I'll put the camera back on and show you what I've got. We'll see you in a minute. Right, okay, right, so inside I've got um, my pillar that Emma made me out of the pillar case with the zip. That's what I took last time. I've got my Galert Luxury Pillow and my new OEX pillow that Emma uh, bought me for my birthday. Uh, thank you very much, Emma. Uh, really, really appreciate it. I absolutely love it. I really do. Um, and also, I've got the uh, Mountain Warehouse Two Season Sleeping Bag. Really thin, really small. Uh, underneath that, I've got the uh, OEX um, Half Mat. And underneath that is obviously something to keep me warm, which is the 
the uh, the roll mat with the uh, reflective and something else um, that I was told these things which is like the sit mats but someone um, on one of their videos have basically turned around and said that um, if you put this under where your hip goes it doesn't hurt you on the ground so much so I'm gonna try this out tonight um, so yeah um, I'm just gonna take some pictures I'm gonna put a tarp up next um, in total I think the tents probably taking me five minutes to set up putting everything in it 10 minutes not not, not much more than that so um, yeah gonna put the tarp up next so We'll see you in a sec when that's done and I'm going to probably have a proper review of all of this sort of stuff so see you in a minute. Okay right I've set my tarp up it's not the best I must admit it's not I'm not into tarpology emery's but I think I've done a right job for the first time I've ever put up a tarp. <laughs> um, if you want to know where I got this tarp from got it from eBay uh, about 15 17 quid something like that but one thing it does have interesting in here is this is silver lined so it keeps all the heat in um, it's 100% waterproof as well which is another good thing um, using my B&M uh, my uh, not home bargain sticks just to see if it uh, hold up it looks all right I think I've done a nice little job of this so if it does rain we've got it so we're looking good we're looking good I don't think Emma's gonna approve because she's right in for me <laughs> and I've just done my best with it I'm leaving the camp for a little while, all set up as you can see in the background and uh, I'm going to go for a little walk. There's a little church that me and Emma will be doing a little bit of an explore on in the next few days. Um, I'm going to go and check that out. I'm going to revisit some of the places that we've been to in our previous videos when we've been here. Not going to do an over explore but it'd be nice to have a little look wouldn't it? So I'm going to go and do that as it's my holiday time and I'm going to go and enjoy it. So okay. Um, I'll switch the cameras on in a little while when we're on our walk. See you in a minute. Uh, just beyond all this all this here is where the original graveyard to the church used to be I just thought I'd come and have a look see if I could see anything but it looks like probably most of the graves were excavated or maybe the tombstones are just gone you know uh, cut budget years and years ago they just used to take them out leave the bodies in but you do hear some weird noises 
coming from around here. Most of it's just animals, I reckon, but you never know. I don't want to take much of a chance when it comes to things like paranormal. We've heard crazy stories, whether they're true or not. I still don't want to take the risk. see it I, I, I've been trying to get it. I don't think you're gonna get it on camera there's a massive fish in here it's really big it's just sitting there I don't even know what it's doing but as you can see look at this this is what Yarmouth has on its doorstep who needs Spain and all them exotic places when you've got this absolutely stunning it really is uh, I hope you've liked the uh, the walk so far you know drop any comments in the uh, comment section um, yeah, and uh, don't forget our other videos as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're really working hard to get as many videos as we can out for the summer. Uh, we've got quite a backlog on some of the videos at the moment, obviously, because me and Emma are, are really trying to push them out, even though that we don't, you know, our work. And Emma's always busy doing her chores and her work and everything. So, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the scans that I've just done of this absolutely amazing place absolutely amazing and i'm going to start heading back to the camp soon because uh, i've got another uh, little uh, walk to do uh, as well so we'll see you in a minute
Earth, the um, the mile walk um, up to this absolutely stunning place. Um, got really close up with these ducks. I just took a picture of them. They're absolutely brilliant. Um, I love nature and I love getting back to it and it's brilliant. I love it. Um, this is such a really good week off work, I'll tell you. It really is. It's turned out to be an absolutely beautiful day. Sun's out. I'm out. The only thing is it's a little bit disappointing because I haven't got Emma here. This place that I've just uh, done a little walk on, I was just saying to how about it, how uh, Emma's very, very incredible person and that. Well, this place actually holds quite a nice little spot in my heart because uh, after 21 years of me and Emma knowing each other and everything, I came down here camping a year ago. And we sat in that car park and went for a nice walk and that's where we decided that, you know, it's it's been a it's been a long time coming, and uh, we decided to get together and, and see how it went. And this is where exploring with Emma Stew was born. At, actually, at this place at Philby Bridge. It was, uh, yeah, it was it was uh, it was born right at this spot. So that's another cause for a celebration for the 600 subscribers that we have. So, uh, yeah, always puts a smile on my face when I think of Emma. So, very special person. So, anyway, let's get walking and get to the next walk. See you in a sec. Okay, right, we're out the woods, and there's my car, it's the campsite. Really hope you enjoyed the walk that we've done today, and uh, yeah, we'll see you tonight on the camp. Catch you later. Good evening everybody. Um, right, I'm about to cook my dinner now. Um, as you know, me and Emma bought uh, like the Tangia, Lexada, um, fuel stoves anyway we was in to uh, go outdoors the other day and we noticed that uh, van gogh do a um type of uh liquid fuel uh like uh bioethanol i'm oh, sorry there's so many little flies around here uh bioethanol and um well basically i went to b and q bought bioethanol seven pound for two liters in go outdoors with a van go is about six pound for one so we bought exactly the same stuff and we're about to try it so stay tuned and we're going to see if it'll light okay let's see if this is going to light buy ethanol that i got from b and q and it's lit it actually lit Look at that. So there you go. Go outdoors. Seven pound for one litre. B and Q two litres for seven quid. So I definitely think the bargain is on our hands there. And tonight's menu, we've got a can of beans and sausages. So I'm gonna put them on there and let them cook up. We've got a nice fire going, nice heated fire, trying to keep these flies away. Um, the fire seemed to have done that, to be honest with you, which is good. I've got another fire log. Um, so yeah, and here we go. There we go, here you have it. So that's cooking now. Uh, we've got hot chocolate and coffee I got from the pound shop today. I'm going to be reviewing one of these. I am not, I'm not fancying a cider tonight, this is an energy drink, so I'm going to give this a go tonight. So I've got that to review. Don't forget the bioethanol, good deal, very good deal. Um, and I've got my snacks in here which contains a few biscuits and um, some um, tracker bars. The fire looks like it's keeping them bloody flies away, thank God for that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, Emma got me this spoon. Uh, which is the um, titanium spoon 
and I bought this mug from Decathlon, uh, which is a aluminium um, mug for about four pound. I think I think it's bloody good good value for money. Don't forget, always clear up your rubbish. So I'm going to put that in the rubbish bin there. We've got a nice fire going, like I just said. Very nice and clear, no one about. Beautiful. So yeah. Uh, yeah, having a nice cook up now. Uh, I told you I've got beans and sausages on the go in a can. Don't know how it's going to go with my little new cook set. I got this from my employee, uh, my employer, and uh, I can't really mention no names of safeguarding, but um, say a big thank you to them. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get cooked up and have something to eat. So join me in a minute. Right. I'm gonna crack this bad boy open. I know it's only an energy drink, but I think I need to because I'm a really big energy drink fan. I know I shouldn't be, it's really bad for you. I don't think you can beat the Red Bulls. Now I've I've checked out the 30 pence ones, 35p, 49p boosts. This one is from Home Bargains, and you get um oh. I think, I think that's boarding up. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, it's boarding up. It's good. Right, anyway. Uh, yeah, 89p for four. So let's try it. That's actually really nice. Very sweet. Really nice though. I'm not normally a fan of cheap energy drinks, but I actually like that. It's actually really nice. That's Warrior. I don't normally give it a, a rating, and we say it's just nice. That's got to be a nine. Nine out of ten. That's really nice. That is comparing to Red Bull, that is. That is really nice. Really enjoying that. I enjoyed this one. Just I was showing you that the, the beans are starting to cook. Hasn't been in there long, not long at all. And you know, halfway through this uh, this warrior, very, very nice. And I thought I'm gonna have my dinner soon. So, got the fire going. Flies are dying off now because of the fire. So yeah, doing really, really well. I'm probably gonna make myself a hot drink a little bit later on. So, uh, yeah, this Spire Ethanol was really proven to be a, um, a good buy, so, which is good. So, I'll see you in a minute. Right, everybody, I think my, uh, my dinner's nearly ready. The time is now 20 past. So it's actually only taken, since I restarted, about 20 minutes to cook a can of beans with water and the, uh, the Bayer Ethanol. It's really giving it some, so... Um, I'm going to start dishing up soon. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite surprised actually. I can't believe it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start eating it. So I'm going to turn the camera on in a minute. As you can see, the beans are bubbling and so is the water. So I'm going to take this off now. Put that on the floor. It's got very hot water in it. Very, very hot water. And just put out the tangier. Put the simmer on it. And I'm going to give these a go. Now the can is hot. Jesus, that is warm. That's hot. There you go. And that's how much water I actually put in. It wasn't a lot. Wasn't a lot of hot water. Just going to let that cool down a bit. I'm going to try these out. Give me a second. Oh, no. That is very hot. Very, very hot. Mm. Very, very warm. I think I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to eat my dinner and I'll turn the cameras back on when I'm done. Mm. Just a mental note I'm not going to eat it out of the can. Obviously, picking the can up. I've put it back, I've put it back in the thingy in the saucepan and I'm going to eat it from there. 
So, let's try it. Right, just finished my beans and sausages, and it's still steaming. You can see, it's <laughs> I can't believe it actually worked. 20 minutes to cook a can of beans and sausages. Who needs ration packs or Wayfairs or anything like that when you've got the real thing? Put it in a bit of water and you've got a meal for the night. Beans and burgers, beans and sausages, if you can find it in a tin, you know you can cook it as long as you put it in the bin. I tried to rhyme something, it didn't work. So yeah, buy ethanol. I think it's definitely a way forward. Um, so I'm gonna turn the camera off for a little while. I'm gonna relax for a bit. And then I'm gonna be gonna make a hot drink. Uh, I'll be speaking to Emma about half past 10 tonight. And then I'll speak to you lot um, just before I go to bed. So um, yeah. You know, I told you before, got the got a little tiny bit of this left. Really, really nice. Don't forget, uh, this is from Home Bargains. It's their own type of brand. Told you, nine out of ten. This is a really, really good energy drink. It's sweeter than Red Bull, I think, but very, very nice. Ne nevertheless, it is really nice. And I'm probably going to make a hot chocolate and coffee. I've got a tracker bar, maybe some biscuits. So yeah, yeah. So. It's been a really good experience today. I hope you've enjoyed the camp. Um, and I'll be saying goodnight to you and, and stuff like that a little bit later. And then go through with what I've got in my tent and how comfortable it is and what room I've got. So, see you later. Up a little bit, it's getting a little bit chilly out there and a bit damp. Um, and then flies were doing my head in as well. Um, the fire kept them away as much as possible, but still a bit of a nightmare. So I've moved underneath here and brought the fire with me underneath the tarp a little bit, it's just keeping the warmth in. It's not right underneath, where as you can see, it's literally there, just keeping the warmth underneath here. There's not a lot of smoke underneath, it's not going to get a headache or nothing. And there's got to just um gonna make a hot drink in a little while so yes I forgot to mention actually that's a bit good bit of kit we've got here um, this is the OEX wind guard um, that's pretty cool as well that's a pretty good little bit of kit but I'm more amazed at that buyer ethanol I mean that's really done well so yeah I'm gonna make a hot drink in a minute so I'll see you when that's done just started up the Tangier I'm gonna put some water in here uh, burn off some of the water that it obviously had before so just gonna undo undo this uh, gonna just put some water in in there just enough so I can have a nice cup of coffee so I'm gonna do that now as you can see, that's all on, lids on, and we'll wait. Okie dokie, right, I've got one hot chocolate, one coffee. This is a bit of a cheating thing to do, to be honest with you, but I'm going to do it because I can. And um, normally we have the sachets, as you watch from our other videos, we normally buy the sachets. But as I, as I wasn't carrying anything today and just living off, basically my um, my uh, 50 litre bag I thought I can take a few luxuries with me so and we've got the fire still going lovely jubbly it's very warm underneath here I mean you wouldn't believe how warm it is so I'm gonna wait for the water to be done and uh, we'll make a hot drink right this is my last drink before I say goodnight to you guys I'm just gonna put the water there. I'm just gonna make myself a nice hot drink. It's really hot. And, uh, as usual, simmer. Put out. That's it. So that's nice and out now. 
that back on. Put the lid back on. And mix and stir, mix and stir. That's it. So a nice fire, nice cup of drink. So next time I speak to you, I'll be in bed. So I'll see you in a little while. Right everybody, um, give you a little bit of a rundown on the Fox One. It is bloody hot in here. I must admit it's a really really warm tent um, it's it is confined it is a bit of a confined space but to be honest with you I think I'm gonna sleep quite well um, you've got enough room each side here and here uh, left and right sleep right down the middle on me OEX half pad I think I'll be all right you know but it is warm I mean I can't believe how warm this tent is I didn't expect it to be this warm, but what I didn't realise was, because I've obviously got the tarp up as well, which has got that silver, silver lining, so, which really doesn't help um, with the heat, because it keeps all the warmth in, <laughs> but I've put my fire out, put it out with water, um, I've just spoke to Emma, it's half eleven now, so I think I'm going to say goodnight, and I'll See everyone in the morning. So, no no. everybody um, it's about half past seven in the morning uh, I was gonna try and catch the sunrise but that didn't happen um, I slept pretty well um, the only problem is sleeping in a small tent like that it just makes you want to wee all night and then you have to try and get out of it oh. but other than that the actual um, tent was really really good really really um, nice sleep um, yeah and uh, at the moment I'm just having I'm just making a cup of coffee or just made a cup of coffee I'm gonna track a bar I'm gonna get packed up because me and Emma's got an explore to do today um, so I'm gonna go and meet her and uh, see what we can do so um, I'm gonna get packed up in a little while and uh, hopefully I'll uh, Get back to you in a minute. See you in a sec. Right, everybody, um, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it um, as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, but yeah, we're, we're me and Emma are going to go and do a, an explore now. And um, well, as I said, normal. Catch you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>